Okay, okay. Hey, all right, big man. You want to make some big bucks. Huh? Let's see how tough you are. You know something about trucking? Dígame. Are you kidding me or what? YouTube, what's up, LLOM community? What's up, Lockout Men? Back with another video and i am here in the truck i want to talk to you for a minute give me your ear just hear me out what i have to say i just want to take a few minutes of your time oh man i'm on my way well i'm already here in ohio my uh dm sent me a message and he was like yo go ahead and drop the load off in the morning so i figure since I'm going to be already here, I'll just go ahead and make my way to a parking, truck parking lot, and uh, post up there. But I I want you guys to pay attention and listen right quick. I got, I just got something to say. I I caught this little quip off of, off of Facebook, and I thought I would bring it to you, especially for the new guys that's coming into this trucking game. And... Um, you know, just just a little bit of advice about advice that you might not want to take advice from everybody. Shout out to my girl, uh, Seth's Love. I, if I pronounce your name, if I pronounce your name wrong, my bad. I met this uh, I met this seven or six foot. Well, I don't think she's a stallion. I think she's a thoroughbred. Yeah, six foot all joint amazon you know what i'm saying she's uh good with the hair she's been in the hair business for a long time and she's stepping out of her comfort zone and she's getting into truck now look driving these trucks it isn't like doing hair baby i'm just saying it ain't it ain't like doing hair congratulations good luck and make sure you subscribe to my channel man Make sure you subscribe to my channel. Guys, you new to the trucking game, all right? Y'all pick, y'all watching my videos. Y'all liking what I'm doing. Y'all like the content that I'm doing. Y'all watching. But y'all y'all get into the game and y'all say, "Yo, this company's not doing that for me. That company's not doing this for me. What should I do? What should I do?" You guys come on YouTube, y'all ask for advice in the comment section. Y'all ask for advice in the Facebook groups and stuff like that. But there's thousands upon thousands of drivers out here. Some of them are jaded by other companies. As you already know, Swift is the, is the butt of all trucking videos out here. All things wrong in trucking is has to do with Swift, right? Now, not to say that Swift isn't a bad company. It's the drivers that makes the company look bad. It's the trainers of the company that trains the drivers that makes the that that the drivers make the company look bad now swift is a starter company no doubt it's a starter company you come out of you come out of school you jump right in swift it is what it is but if you're having problems with any company where you at i.e swift us express crst cr england you're going to experience a lot of stuff that's gonna that's gonna happen to you and you're gonna experience a lot of drivers that were at that company that's gonna give you some bad advice I'm I'm getting dogged at this one company but I'm thinking about US Express should I should I go to US Express well you got one you you got a, a one group of people that that works for US Express and be like 
Yeah, come on over, U.S. Express, the best thing since sliced bread, yada, 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 boom, boom, boom. And then you have another group of people that says, yo, U.S. Express, no, 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 back back off of U.S. Express. I, I'm an alumni of U.S. Express, a U.S. Express starter company. Shout out to U.S. Express for giving me my experience. But did I have my problems with U.S. Express? I damn sure did. Is it the company U.S. Express? I, I don't want to say it's the company per se. I just want to say it's the fleet manager that I had. Me and the fleet manager didn't mesh well. I think it boils down to the fleet managers. If you get a good rapport with that fleet manager, then your time with the company is going to be great. You see what I'm saying? Your time with the company is going to be great. You get a good, you get a fleet manager. You show, that fleet manager shows you that he's going to work for you and you show him or her that you're going to work for them. Then your time at the company is going to be smooth sailing. You're going to, you're going to want the runs, do what you need to do to keep running for that fleet manager. Now, if you get a fleet manager that you and them can't get along with each other, then that's where the problems is going to come in at. And then that's where you have all these other drivers that's going to say, yo, that company ain't shit. That company did me wrong. But see what they talking about is not the company per se. It's the people in the company. But lockout men does the people make the company? Yes, the people do make the company. You may have to switch to another DM or switch to another person that you can mesh with before you could turn around and say, the company did you bad. What I wanna say is, is be careful who you get advice from. You know what I'm saying? Be careful who you get advice from. I will say this, if you are happy the place where you at, stay there. If you're happy with what you're being comfortable at, stay there. If you're happy with your C, C, uh, CPM, stay there. If you're happy with your miles, stay there. If you're happy with your DM, stay there. Stay at the company that's treating you right. I, I know what y'all about to say, but lockout men, JNR Swoogle treated you right. Why you didn't stay there? JNR Swoogle did treat me right. They did treat me right. I had a fun time there. I had an excellent time there. I made money, I got my miles, and I brought a lot of people on with that company. Once I got my tankers, and I think I explained this before, once I got my tankers, then I decided upon myself that it was time to make a move. Now at the same time of me getting my tankers and making my move, of course my fleet manager, my original fleet manager, left. He went and got something, he, he went into livestock or something like that. I don't know, but Congratulations to Matt, he's doing big things now. In the midst of me upgrading, because you know, Jay and Arshugel, they, they don't do tankers. They do flatbed, but it's only limited to Minnesota. They only do reefer and drive-in. I knew I didn't want to move over to drive-in, even that's what I'm doing right now, but when I got my tankers, I wanted to make something happen. And unfortunately, JNR Shrugel couldn't do it. Was I still making money there? Yes. Was I still getting miles? Uh, me and the new fleet manager at the time was trying to work that out. Trying to work that out. Didn't work. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. That's the term used for everything. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. If it ain't, if it's already fixed, try to make it better. Try to work it out. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. If you like what you're doing and you're good where you at, don't fix it. But if it's already fixed and you wanna upgrade, 
then by all means do that. So let's say you get into where you at, you got your license, you, you didn't get no endorsements, right? All right, so you working on that. You, you working, and then you decided, hey, I want to get my hazmat. It's already fits where you at. You just upgrade, right? If the company don't, the company where you at don't have hazmat, then you're upgrading. However, I would say this: you got to get your time in because a lot of these companies like drivers with a little bit more experience out. Do local, right? That should, you know what? Local should be your end game. You'll you'll probably find local jobs that pays better that has better benefits and your home time will be a little bit more you know if you're a type of person that says hey i'm done with over the road then local will probably be the way to go your home more and that that should be your end goal right there you with your family more that should be your end goal right there but realize this local requires a lot more experience so if you do local jobs that you know that you gotta run into the cities run into these tight dots run into these blindside backing situations you gotta understand when you do local it's gonna be a little bit more but it but the pay is a little bit better it has better benefits than OTR and like I said before, you can be home every day. What you want to do is get all of your endorsements. If you can't get it off the first rip, all right, try to get them all, you know, within, within the time that you're driving. You will be more attractive and more valuable to the companies that's looking for drivers. You got your hazmat, boom. You got your tankers, boom. You got your tankers and your hazmat, double boom. You got your doubles and triples, triple boom. Now, doubles and triples is not, I'm not a fan of doubles and triples, so I would not, I would not go for my doubles and triples, but I am going for my hazmat. I am going for that this summer, so that's gonna be the next thing I get. But, doubles and triples, no. Double the work, same amount of pay. Don't wanna do that. You know, with all this said, I just want to tell you guys that once you once you get what you want out of this trucking game you can pretty much name your own price you can name what you want to do you got you you got all your endorsement you're you're a seasoned driver you can pretty much turn around and say hey i want this amount you can say hey i'm valuable to the company you can you can negotiate your miles, you can negotiate your home time, and you definitely can negotiate your money. So I hope you guys just take this advice right here that I got and run with it and share this video to somebody that may needs to hear it. Also, don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to hit that like button. Make sure you like the video. Make sure you hit the likes. It shows YouTube that you guys is rocking with me. And hit that bell. It is hot. Damn it, man. Hit that bell. All right, now. Hey, hey, let's slow it down. Yeah.